Why, hello there. Welcome to The Circle. We've noticed that you haven't signed up for a lot of extracurriculars yet, and that's because for today we really want you to join The Circle and to really just be a part of it. Just be yourself, just join some clubs, do some things that really appeal to you. We really want this to be about you. So if you're here to watch Tom Richardson review the movie The Circle, there's a club for that. If you're here to just watch a movie review or just watch this guy sit in front of a camera talk about a movie, there's clubs for that. There's ways that you can be a part of the circle and still do those things. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to leave your desk and just do things every once in a while that other people are doing. We want to know that what you're doing here. We want to help you sign up for these things and just be yourself. Just join the circle. Have fun. And, well, while you're here, let's let Tom Richardson review the circle, because that's kind of why he's here doing this right now. So, hey, guys, um, for my opening little skit there, that's supposed to be from a character in the movie The Circle who's trying to get Emma Watson to be more involved with the company and to do more things outside of just doing her job at this place. So, so for today's movie review, I am going to talk about The Circle. This is a film adaptation of a 2013 book that I guess did pretty well for the most part with a lot of people, I think, critically and like as a New York Times bestseller and everything like that. And they turned it into a film which recently came out. And this film focuses on a young girl who's kind of working all these uh, kind of okay, not the greatest jobs, uh, like a phone uh, service, customer service kind of job. And just all these random office jobs. And so she's really not completely happy with any of those. And so she eventually lands an interview at this place called The Circle, which is kind of Google meets Facebook in the sense that, you know, it's a big um, internet slash security camera slash, you know, social media. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's it, you know, like it's kind of like Google meets Facebook, I guess is the best way to put it. And so Emma Watson's kind of one of the computer technician people of this place. Um, but what she doesn't realize also is the circle's meant to kind of just let people be themselves and to be a part of clubs and to just um, whatever they're interested in, they have a club for almost everything. And so it's kind of like the Google in the sense that not only are they there to work, they're there to just kind of be themselves and to just allow creativity to flow and to make technology a more um, accessible thing to more people and to be able to create opportunities for people to um, look at and observe things across the world just by, you know, staying at home on a computer or staying at home looking at something on their iPhone and stuff like that. Uh, but as the film progresses, um, without me spoiling anything, um, something happens to Emma Watson that kind of makes people want to um, be able to see her life more and to supervise her life more. Um, so she kind of becomes this company image in the sense that wherever she's going, whether it's at home or just driving out somewhere or walking to work, um, she's being recorded as far as how her life is playing out. She's kind of like a mini host of a mini TV show that, um, you know, anybody can have access to whether they work for the circle or not. Um, but as that progresses, she's starting to realize that privacy is being very much invaded in her life. Uh, she really feels like nothing is kind of secret anymore, that she can't keep things to herself, that she really can't just be herself on her own time, on her own terms. Uh, you know, every move that she makes is going to be watched by somebody at the circle or outside the circle, and she just really gets uncomfortable with this after a while. Uh, so it's ultimately about Emma Watson trying to figure out how can the circle kind of continue, uh, give people great work opportunities without completely invading their personal life and without completely, um, you know, going into like private accounts and just things that people really don't want the circle to be able to look at and stuff like that. So this film is all about how can privacy be maintained and how can technology not go so far to the point that uh, it's uncontrollable, that it's kind of the thing that's living instead of people. Uh, so how can we advance technology without completely taking over everything and without completely taking away um, everything personal to everybody? So overall, guys, I really like The Circle a lot. Um, and unfortunately, it did get a lot of really negative reviews when the film, film very 
when the film first came out. Um, you know, just tons of negative reviews everywhere, critically from everybody, really. Uh, but I'm kind of here to tell you that I really enjoyed The Circle. Um, you know, I'm one of those people, one of those rare people for this movie that I'm going to come out and tell you that I really enjoyed this movie. I really had a lot of great things to say about it and there's a lot of things about it that I think a lot of people are just kind of ignoring and pushing to the side and just favoring that thing that they really didn't like about it for whatever reason and don't get me wrong the circle's not a perfect movie uh there's things about it they think really could have been improved quite a bit uh but when it does things right it really gets things right really well so for my positives and negatives of The Circle, um, I like how it asks interesting questions about privacy and uh, how far can technology go without it, without it becoming uh, just taking over everything, just taking over everything that you stand for. Uh, so I like how it asks interesting questions about both those things, and ultimately it's a film that asks questions and most, most for the most part answers all the questions as well. But obviously there's some things that can't go answered because... Well, there's still certain things about both those ideas that are still being asked and answered today. So I think that's what I also like about The Circle is it's very much about where we're at in 2017 and where we might be at here in the future if we keep asking questions and answering questions like this. This film is also very entertaining throughout, you know, by the time the film started and by the time the film ended, I was completely engaged in everything that was going on. Um, I really cared for Emma Watson and for all these people who were at the circle and just trying to make this technology accessible and to make people's lives better, um, ideally. Something showed up there. Um... So I liked how I was just really entertained and really enthralled throughout the whole runtime. Um, I also thought Emma Watson, Tom Hanks, John Boyega, and Pat Oswalt, who all show up in this movie and performances, uh, just gave really strong character performances here. Emma Watson really led the film very well. And when the film goes to the point where it's you know focusing on her life and it being televised to everybody, uh, she really handled that part very well, I thought. Uh, Tom Hanks is kind of the creator of this company, and I thought he did a good job kind of pitching why he wanted to make the circle and why what he's hoping people will get out of it and stuff like that. So I really liked his character in this. And John Boyega is all about, you know, you know, I want my privacy. I don't want the circle to take that away from me while I still want to work for the company that's, you know, started this really neat thing. But I want my privacy. I want to be able to go places without the circle knowing about what I'm doing and stuff like that. So I kind of liked his angle on the circle. And then Pat Oswald is another, you know, kind of CEO type of character along with Tom Hanks. And, you know, he has interesting things about the circle and has, you know, ideas and things that he wants to pursue within the company. And so I thought his mission with this, his character was also very interesting. So they did a lot of really neat things with these characters in this film, I thought. And I also thought I was just very intrigued and interested in what the Circle Company was about. I liked learning about them. I liked learning about what they offer people and what they offer the employees and how they offer benefits to them and how they, you know, offer, you know, cures to illnesses that, you know, like a relative would have since Emma Watson's dad had something in this that he was trying to look for a cure for and stuff like that. Um, played by Bill Paxton, rest in peace. Um, but... You know, I was just very intrigued with what the circle could do and how they went about um, offering things to employees and customers that I thought was just super interesting, I thought. Um, there's also a lot of visual effects in this film that are um, related to tweets and messengers that are commenting on the things that Emma Watson's doing when her life becomes televised and so forth. Um, really interesting stuff. I like how the visual effects were handled. I even thought it was interesting how some of the texts, if you were able to read them and stuff throughout the course of the movie, they do feel like things that you would read on like Twitter and Instagram and you know Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So they were realistic in the sense that they wrote those and they visually handled those in ways that I think people who were watching this incident with Emma Watson would type down on their computer as they're watching her do all this stuff. But for my negatives of the circle, um, L.R. Coulter, who was in the film Boyhood, who I, I really enjoyed his performance in that movie, he plays like the boyfriend slash 
close small town friend of Emma Watson in this movie. Um, his performance was just super dull in this movie. I didn't care about his character. They do something with his character that makes you care about him more. I'll give the film credit there. Uh, but just the overall performance, I didn't care about this character. It was super dull. Um, the man I, the, the young boy slash man I saw in Boyhood growing up in that movie, I didn't get that same actor in this movie. I really felt like it was a completely different person. Just whatever, however he was directed or however he thought he should have handled his character, very dull, very boring, did not like the performance from him in this movie. There's also some weak and choppy editing in this film. There's a scene where, um, I think Chris Stuckman talked about this in his review too, uh, where Emma Watson and a close friend of hers are talking in a bathroom so the circle won't hear them since they give them privacy in the bathroom. It's one of the few privacies they get um, where they're talking back and forth between the stalls. Um, he, he mentioned in his review too that um, it, it's kind of a... It looks like they share the same toilet, by the way, how they're talking in the scene and so forth. Uh, it's always cutting back to the both of them, and it looks like the same exact stall and so forth. There's not only moments like that, but there's other moments where it's just like, why are they editing it like that? They're just kind of weak and choppy, and so I guess the film could have used a better editor is the best way to say it. Um, I also thought the circle lost its believability after a while. There's one point in the movie where the circle gets so big to the point where it's able to look at and observe and show people things in private places that the government would just never allow that. Um, like there's points in the movie where they can just say, hey, computer, show me where, you know, show me what the president's working on right now in a document. And it'll go zoom in and show exactly what they're working on and so forth. So there's things that are just like, the government and the president and all these other people would never allow the public eye to just look at absolutely everything and absolutely every document and thing that you could ever think of. It's just like, it just, it's not going to happen. So I don't like how the circle really went into saying, Hey, we're, you can show everything within the circle. And it's just like, no, they wouldn't allow those things like airports and governments and all that kind of stuff. So after a while, once it reaches the point where it's just like everything is available to everybody, that's kind of where I lost believability within the circle and what it was capable of. Um, I also thought the film started at the Circle Company way too soon. I really wanted to learn more about Emma Watson before she went into this company. They do. You know, we, we learn about her and they develop her very well. But as far as what she was doing before working for the Circle, I thought that could have gone on a little bit longer. Um, I thought we could have learned a little bit more about her parents and so forth before she went to the circle because you know, by, by the time she gets there, it's all about them curing the dad and them invading the privacy of her parents and so forth. So I thought starting at the circle as soon as they did felt a little too quick. So as far as scenes leading up to that, I really would have just preferred for it to be like character development and stuff like that. So overall, I'm going to give The Circle an 8.5 out of 10. When it works well, it really works well. It asks interesting questions about technology and privacy, but L.R. Coltrane's performance, the weak editing, the believability factor just lost me after a while. Um, and I really thought it started at The Circle Company way too soon and way sooner than it should have. So 8.5 out of 10 for me, a very good film. Uh, maybe I won't watch it a second time, but I will recommend seeing it in the theater or seeing it Redbox for those who do want to see this movie, uh, but don't go in expecting an absolute masterpiece because it does have some flaws to it too.